In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the various types of print options that are available to you um, from within a document. So if you scroll down to the bottom of a job sheet, you'll see here a, a fast tab called invoice print options and you're presented with the line layout and the column layout. So by default, the line layout is standard and the column layout is standard. So if we just take a look at how this appears, it is very simply a combined list of labors and items. If we switch to group by line type and take a look, this splits the invoice into labors and parts separately uh, with subtotals for each uh, category. If we select custom grouping, and you can see that I've got this document set up um, with these groups, if we take a look at this one, you can see it's split the document into the group. So we can see that breaks with the break labor and the parts, and then the service with the service labor and the parts, and then a subtotal for each job. And then we have the column layout. So we have standard, Hide labor quantity and unit price and show totals only. So if I select hide labor quantity and unit price, then you can see here that the customer can only see the um, total amount of the labor. They can't see the quantity or the unit price, but they can still see the quantity and unit price of the items. If I select show totals only, then it only displays the subtotals. If we go back to standard show totals only, so all, all of these combinations work between line lines and columns. Then you can see here that you can't see any values and you can only see total amounts here. Now the most common setup is group by line type and hide labor quantity and unit price. And that will display the labor without the quantities, but just the subtotals. Um, and parts will display the quantity and unit price and totals. Now, this is per document. If you use the search button in the top right hand corner or press Alt Q on your keyboard and search for sales setup, under sales and receivable setup, if you scroll um, down the general fast tab, here on the right hand side, you'll see line layout and column layout. Now, these are the standard setup through the system. Now, if you change the settings here, it's not going to update every single job sheet. If you want to change the settings on the job sheets that already exist, um, you'll have to manually update the job sheets. But this will apply to every job sheet you create going forwards. Um, so I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, then let me know. Thank you.